Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Come on, y'all. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. This is the day. Yeah, today, today. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Good morning, saints of God. Good afternoon, faith-based community. Good evening, saints. How are you doing today? It's so good to see you all back in the house of worship, back in your prayer closet, back in the sanctuary of the Most High. Welcome to our prayer time together. I am Elder Corey A. Mobley Sr. here at True Vision Church, and I'm just standing in for our pastor, Pastor Michael Steve Brown, who we continue to celebrate 25 years this year of him being our pastor here at True Vision Church. God bless each and every one of you on today. But you know what? We came here for a purpose. But before we get to that purpose, I need you to do me a favor and like this video, share this video, comment, subscribe. Yes, I say the same thing every single time. Here's why. We need you to do it. We need you to help us spread the word of God. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and follow. Follow us on Facebook. We thank you so much for doing that. We really do. We really do appreciate it. Listen, but don't stop there. Yeah, I say the same thing every time. Don't stop there. Give us your I am statement. Your I am statement means you're telling us how you are doing out there today. That really is important to us because we care about you. We care about those that join us weekly for prayer. But then don't stop their name. That's right, boast on the Most High. Name one thing that God did for you on today. Amen. Now, the purpose at hand. We're reading Scripture, we're meditating on God's Word, and we're praying together. We're still walking through the book God's Way day by day. Dr. Charles F. Stanley, today is October the 11th. God loves you. Someone needed to hear that. Someone needed to hear that right now. God loves you. 1 John chapter 4, verse 16, New King James Version of the text. It says this, And we have known and believed the love that God hath to us. God is love, and he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in God, and God in him. Please type the word amen. Yes, yes, amen in reverence, honor, and respect of the holy word of God. And then bow your heads in humble submission so we can pray together. Most high God, great high priest, oh great Jehovah, great Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Ishkanu, Jehovah Rafi, Jehovah Elohim, oh God, our protector, our provider, our great high God, the one that loves us beyond measure, the one that loves us beyond any particular condition, the one that loves and keeps our soul, the one that woke us up this morning, the one that started us on our way, the one that provides food on our tables and puts clothing on our back, the one that provides shelter in time of storm, our great high priest, the, our great creator, the one that owns the, key, the hill, the cattle, the goats, the sheep, it all belongs to you. Thank you, God, for being God. Thank you, God, for your superiority. Thank you, God, for your authority. Thank you, God, for your power. Thank you, God, for your loving kindness towards us. Lord, thank you that we can't do enough to measure uh, your love. Thank you that we can't do enough to earn your love. It was all based on our relationship with Christ, that if we love him, that if we take him at his word, if we trust him, if we believe in him, if we put our faith in him, you love us. Thank you, God. But Lord, even beyond that, your love is so unconditional that even when we don't love you, even when we don't believe in you, you still love us. Thank you for being that kind of God, the kind of God that is long-suffering, the kind of God that is patient, the kind of God that is uh, 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 kind, the kind of God that, 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 that holds his tongue, that holds back the waters, that holds back the fire, that holds back uh, his anger and wrath towards us. When we deserved it, you didn't give it to us. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Hallelujah to your name. So, Lord, please, please take our cries out to you right now. This prayer lifted up to you as just us in adoration and exhortation of you, that we love you, Father. We thank you for loving us. 
We cannot say it enough. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for walking with us, talking with us, rocking us to sleep at night, holding us together, watching over our, our minds, regulating us, helping us to control ourselves, helping us to break habits. Thank you, God. You are a good, good God. We appreciate you. So, Lord, as we end this prayer, we don't end the adoration towards you. We bless your name. We lift you up. We say hallelujah to you. Thank you for this opportunity to pray just to give homage unto you, just to give alms unto you, just to give sacrifice unto you. Lord, bless our prayer time together, this daily walk with you. Bless this time together. Let it not be in vain. Let our prayers not fall on deaf ears, but incline your ear towards us. Please hear our cries out to you. Heal bodies. Heal souls. Heal relationships. Heal financial issues. Heal uh, 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 um, 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 uh, trials and tribulations, Father. We thank you for doing just that. We pray this in Jesus' master's name. Our Savior. Amen. And amen and amen. Listen, saints of God, I need you to type amen in agreement with me today. I need you to also, if you haven't already, share this video. Join us on tomorrow for Lunch with the Lord worship service. It'll start at 12 o'clock noon. Until then, God bless you. God keep you is our prayer unto you. Bye-bye.